Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 25th, 26th, 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Scorpios. Happy birthday, my Scorpios. Well, this is my weekend reading, so I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. We do have a full, I mean, I'm sorry, we do have a new moon coming on the 28th. Of course, that will be in Scorpio. Two cards have fallen out. Let me go ahead and cut for the third. I thought three cards had come out. They didn't. There we go. I have a cold, so I'm hopefully I'm not going to be sniffling on you, but we're going to make this real quick. Okay? Okay. So, three cards face down. The first is reversed. means it's kind of like pay attention to me. So here's our first card. Release. Okay, Archangel Azrael, very much strong, you know, major, uh, major arcana type of card. Powerful Archangel type of card. And this is basically get ready to start. Get ready to release. Get ready, ready, ready. This is the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. It's again, it's get ready to release it. You know, remember the full moon is, you know, I'm, I talk about, you know, from the, the full moon to the new moon is the waning moon. And that's the best time, sorry, the full moon to the new moon is the waning moon. And that's the best time to release and relinquish things. The new moon to the full moon is the waxing moon. And that's a good time to request. So this is still release, 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 because things are about to change for you and you don't want to bring your old baggage with you. So this weekend will be really good for that. Next card is Ego. Okay, Ego, interesting. Again, Major Arcana, again, an Archangel Energy card. So what is this? Is this that you need to shed your ego? You need to stop necessarily um, putting yourself in a place of prominence and let maybe maybe let others do that for you but i feel like again i feel like this is shedding um, and getting ready and this is ego this is letting things go also it's letting fear go it's letting you know those things that um puff, i feel like letting those things that puff you up go away it's seeing kind of a truth in situation it's seeing it's being more honest with yourself i'm feeling so whoever needed to hear that so this is a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. And this is Archangel Jophiel. And our last card is the Ten of Earth. And again, Earth energy, um, very much that money, solid energy. It is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It is a solid. Could be about your home. It could be about your family. It could be about your job. could be about your money. But this is transitional. So something's, something's ending and now you're getting ready to go forward. It's actually a nice card. So, you know, here, remember, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. It's like letting that go. Remember, the 28th and that, that new moon is in your sign. So, so it's like letting things go, let things go and move on into transition into this nicer place. So this is a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So these are some choices that you all have. And I mean, you know, but it's again, it's letting it go. Don't take it into that new, don't take it into your season. Let it go. Okay. Okay. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And my Scorpios, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.